Hi, I'd like to thank you all for tuning in today. My name's Scott with Buckeye Sports Center, and what we're going to do today is kind of show you what to expect when you come into our store with a new boot fit. As you can see, well, there's many different styles of boots out there. All these boots have a different shape and a different fit on them. So it's really important that you come into Buckeye Sports Center and have one of our experts measure your foot and determine what shell may be the best for you. Yes, you can go online and buy a boot, but it may not be the correct purchase. Boots the most important part of your ski package. It has to fit. It is what takes the energy from your body to the ski. It's what turns the ski. First thing, I would like you to bring in your socks, your ski socks, wear a pair of nice baggy pants that I can get up over top of your leg because we just don't fit the foot. We're going to fit the whole leg. And if you have any type of orthotics or footbeds that you like, uh, bring them along with you also. So when you first come into the store, your salesperson is probably going to ask you several questions about where you ski and how you ski so we can get a better idea what it's going to take to fill your needs in your new boots. First thing we're going to have you do is put on your ski sock. Then we're going to place your foot down on this Brannock device, which just it not only gives us length, but it gives us a width, a width measurement. We're going to measure it unweighted. If we look here, this foot's about 26.5 unweighted. Nick, go ahead and stand up for me. And we can see when Nick stands up, it grows to about 27 weighted. We're going to have you flex your knee forward, just like that. And that's going to give us a good measurement here, just not on the length, but there again on the width of the foot. Now the boot fitter has an idea of the size of your foot and the shape of your foot. It gives him several options to go back and pick the properly shaped boot for your foot. And please keep one thing in mind, even though this red Nordica might be the boot you want, it may not be the right shape for your foot. First thing that's going to happen when the boot fitter comes out with the boot, he's going to remove the lining or the last from the boot and do a shell fit. Do a shell fit, we're going to just have Nick slide his foot in here, and we're going to look for various measurements within the shell by itself. Nick, bring your foot toe all the way to the front of the boot, flex forward. I'm going to put my hand back behind his heel and see if I got enough room for his foot in the shell, which I do. Then we're going to ask Nick to slide his big toe over to the inside of the shell and his heel to the back. Just like that, thank you, Nick. And we're going to feel down around his foot to see if there's enough width in the shell for him. Can you bring your little toe over to this side for me? Thank you. And boy, that's going to be a good fit for you, Nick. Why don't you pull on out of there? Next thing we'll do, we'll reassemble the boot. We are going to put one of the super feet foot beds in, but your fitter will slide one of these in for you. Now that we have the boot back together, we're going to just explain to Nick real quick here how the boot's going to feel as he puts it on. Nick, when you put the foot in the boot, your toe is going to slide all the way in the front of the boot. As we get the boot on, you will get the pressure off your toe. Okay. All right, give me your hand. I want this to fit like a good, firm handshake. I don't want it real sloppy, and I don't want it crushing your hand. Okay. Okay? We want it to fit like a glove, not a mitten. All right, now that we have Nick's foot in there, Nick, is your foot toe touching the front of the boot? It is. All right. Let's go ahead and buckle you on. We're going to buckle the top two buckles first. And then we're going to ask Nick to flex forward a couple times real hard. Nick, you feel the pressure come off your toe? I do. That's because your heel has slid back into that boot. Feels really good. Yeah. All right, just relax. We're going to buckle the second two buckles. And there again, a lot of times if you buy a boot on the internet, you won't realize you have adjustable buckles on them. Nick, stand straight up in that boot. You feel your toe in the front? I do. Flex forward into your skiing position. You feel the pressure come off your toes? I do. And you can wiggle them. I can. 
And that's the way a boot should fit. Whether you need a new boot or you have some fit issues with your old boots, come on into Buckeye Sports Center and see us so we can get you back out on the snow having a whole bunch of fun.